Welcome back. City Union Bank has fired up in trade after reporting the Q2 earnings. Uh, the bank's asset quality has improved. The net interest margins have came in, expanding to 3.67%. To talk more on the numbers and the way forward, we have with us uh, N. Kamakodi, Managing Director at City Union Bank. Thank you very much, sir, for uh, joining in. Uh, this is Reema here. So the first question is on loan growth. You've accelerated your loan growth to about 12% year on year and up 5% on a quarter on quarter basis. You've seen strong growth in the gold NBFC segments and plus in Q4, some of your retail products for home loans will also come out. So by the end of the year, what is your guidance on loan growth? And if you could give us the demand for the individual segments you operate in. Uh, see, like... Uh this question on what is our guidance we have maintained that uh, we have not given we will not give any specific guidance and all but what we have uh, told particularly with the uh, analyst in yesterday con call is that uh, uh, by the before the end of the year we should be getting back to the industry level average growth in fact uh, the we had about 14 percentage growth in the uh, december 2022 for the december 2000 calendar year there was some setback and we accelerated we crossed double digit in the june quarter and we were able to firm that up in with the 12 percentage now so going forward we, we we see definitely we will be able to get it back to the uh, industry level growth rate and uh, this growth has basically come from our conventional uh like say the uh, sectors like uh, msme gold loan agriculture and all and the new segment, whatever we wanted, like the uh, retail loans and all, are yet to uh, give their own contribution. And whatever growth we have achieved so far is uh, uh, purely from the uh, uh, traditional uh, conventional sector where uh, we were very strong in, and in the same sector only it is uh, continuing. Uh, the uh, other sectors, when they start uh, contributing, the growth rate can further uh, uh, increase uh, beyond this industry level growth rate is what we expect. And... Uh, we are able to see the growth firming up with the existing uh, MSME, secured MSME and uh, gold and agriculture sector itself. So, Mr. Kamakodi, when you say right now it's coming from the conventional sectors, the growth for the uh, for your loan book, going forward, how much will the new segments contribute to overall loan book? Uh, and which will be those segments? They are all uh, basically secured retail segments from the uh, uh, affordable housing, loan against properties and things like that. And uh, in over a period of three years, our expectation is that it should be about uh, 6 to 7 percentage of our uh, uh, expanded portfolio is our expectation. It will be happening in stages. Okay. Do you want to put some more color on 6 to 7 percent? Uh, how much next year? If you launch it only in Q4. So how much in FI26, how much do you go up in FI27? See, basically we have uh, explained that uh, in terms of uh, the uh, contribution to the uh, p and l So uh, uh, like say first year of uh, uh, like say starting the product uh, will be uh, like say there will be some amount of uh, uh, cost which we have taken up front and it will be breaking even in the second year and the contribution to the profit will come from the uh, third year. So basically, since we say in uh, like say uh, three to four years time frame to get uh, six to seven incrementally, it should be about uh, 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 two three percentage additional contribution to the growth uh, should be what we should be expecting in stages. All right. Uh, you know, uh, you had earlier guidance for net interest margins at around three point six percent, but now we are also in a cycle where we might be looking at rate cuts. In that case, uh, do you maintain this uh, guidance for uh, uh, NIMS going forward? And what about your asset quality as well? Where does it stand? Uh, do you maintain the earlier guidance? Yes, all the guidances which we gave in the uh, earlier, uh, uh, let's say, calls they, uh, and earlier quarters, they, they, are, they continue to hold. The uh, net interest uh, uh, margin, like uh, uh, since the reducing interest rate the cycle is uh, 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 probably expected to start little later, probably some advantage we are getting into. Whatever we said earlier that, uh, like say, 3.6 percentage plus or minus 10 basis point, whatever we communicated, they hold in uh, net interest uh, margin. And on the uh, asset quality front also, we said uh, we should be having about 800 crore slippage for the current year uh, compared to uh, 1,000 crores in the uh, last year. Uh, all the guidances what we gave uh, earlier and uh, we should be getting into the range of uh, uh, 1 to 1.25 percentage in the net NPA for the uh, uh, current year and uh, all the guidances, whatever we gave in the past, they continue to hold. 
Okay. All right. Uh, you know, uh, I also wanted to understand on your advances because they have improved 11.5% on a YY basis, 4.7% on a sequential basis. This is also a number that the street seems to like. Can you give us a sense of what growth will come in here going forward and which are the segments again which contributed to advances growth this time? Yeah, as I uh, explained to you earlier, whatever growth you have seen so far has purely come from our traditional segments like uh, uh, MSME, commercial trading, agriculture and gold loan. Uh, the uh, same sector is expected to contribute and uh, we were growing, uh, like say, below the industry level growth rate and we are catching up and uh, uh, we should be able to get the industry level growth rate before the end of the current year is what uh, we uh, yeah, have visibility and what is uh, uh, that is the thing we have already communicated to the uh, uh, market. Thank you, sir, for joining in. Have a good uh, festive season. I uh, wish you all the very best. Uh, get into a break. We'll come back with more on the market. Stay tuned.